Hello ladies, happy 2015. This is gonna be the first video that I'm recording and uploading to YouTube. And before I get too far into it, please let me know what you guys think of the audio or lighting or recording. I've got a whole new setup um, that I'm still learning and playing with. So any feedback is greatly appreciated. Okay, so let's just get into this. Um, so this is a refashioned, recycled, upcycled, whatever you wanna use bowl that I got from Goodwill. And it was just a clear bowl and then I would paint crazy on it and created this fun super modern and abstract look now I love it I know abstract is not for everybody but it is um, something I'm really digging right now and as you can see it is very one-of-a-kind like I there's no way I could replicate this again um, and all I did was grab a, a pretty bowl um, as you can see about you know uh, it was probably a salad bowl. It was a glass bowl from Goodwill. It was like three dollars because it had a gold trim on the top that had kind of um, had some chips in it. So you can kind of see what it, what it's like here. So basic bowl, Goodwill, three bucks. Hello, it, yeah, this is a totally fun project. Okay, so I've got an old box and a can that I think my parents had coffee in. I don't know. Um, so the bowl is not touching the ground, but it's suspended so the paint can drip off. Now this is where it gets really fun and also really messy. I came up with a color palette, um, thanks Pinterest, and created acrylics to match um, as close as possible. Obviously, um, these were ones that at the time I thought were a good idea, and I still think they are pretty cool. I, uh, next time I think we'll do something different. Um, word to the wise, see how much acrylics I have right now? Yeah, it's like triple that. I ended up having to mix more uh, later on, so just DT does know that that could be a problem in the future or water your stuff down. This is the first time I've tried something of this size. Um, so I, I really didn't know what I was going for. Um, and as you can tell, the glass is actually really clean. I went next it and cleaned it and let it dry before I poured because um, obviously it's going to capture anything underneath on the other side of the glass because all of the paint is on the outside. So technically, this project is still food safe. I would not submerge it in water just because I'm using acrylic paints here. And while I do seal them off later on, it's just, you know, slippery slope. So, like, I plan on using it to pull napkins or um, put some maybe makeup brushes in with some, some tissues. I don't know. Stuff in my bathroom. I don't know. You could do a lot of different things with this is the point. Um, but just let's not serve, like, hot soup in it. You know, like, just stick with salad or basic things so as you can see um, I'm kind of just working my way around pouring and mixing and pouring some more um, I tried to keep to a general pattern of like blue light pink dark pink red yellow you know whatever um, that was what my my goal was uh, it didn't happen that way every time mostly because I would just pick up random glasses and pour so whatever um, this is that's why it's abstract because you did whatever the hell you wanted and that's what we did um, so yeah, about this, I don't know if I maybe made the paint too thick or used too much of it and just wasn't patient enough to let it pour down on its own. I'm not really sure what went wrong, but I think I might've used way too much paint and you'll see why here in a second for the amount of runoff that we have. Now, having done this now before, um, next go around, I have some really fun ideas that I could use with this runoff paint, but obviously at the time, I didn't know the situation. Um, and because acrylics are non-toxic, I was fine using them inside, although um, if it's nice out where you are, you could use them outside and probably really enjoy it. Um, seeing this on and pouring this, to me, I find this little process very relaxing and therapeutic because you're just, you know, you're just, you're just making a mess, but you're, it's a pretty mess is really what it is. Okay, so here's the part that sucks, is the dry time. Sweet Jesus, this was a really, really long dry time. And it probably didn't help that I kind of forgot about it for a couple days because I had gotten so annoyed that it wasn't dry. But pretty much what's happening is there's so much layered acrylic going on that it takes forever to dry. So I just left it outside for a few days. Um, it's really the top part where that kind of it dents in, where it pools up, where it's really thick. Okay, so now it's dry. I love the inside, but you've already seen the outside, but you didn't see the outside earlier. The outside is cool. Um, don't get me wrong. I like it. It's just not going to go in my little teeny apartment. Um, I don't think it would be the most versatile for me. Um, as you can see here, 
like the can I, I had put the top underneath it but it looks really cool doesn't it like I put a cardboard box down and I put a, a garbage bag underneath it to see if it drives which it actually really didn't um which is cool <coughs> oh sorry but um yeah that's a lot of paint that it could have been done for something else and it created a really cool pattern so next time I'll do something with that I have to work out the details okay so now that it's dry I have actually spray painted the outside with a blue spray paint and uh, you'll see it here in a second. But I think it just kind of helps mellow out a little bit. Um, so it's not so intense. And I'm, really what I love is the inside. So you can see on the outside where the paint, um, the layers were, how they dried. And I think that's just a nice little detail, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> so I use this Krylon blue um, and a Rust-Oleum clear enable, en enamel. Sorry. Um, but I also used a varnish that I had picked up at um, Michael's that is polyurethane based. And I only use that along the top ridges where the bowl um, and the paint would have mixed. So that very top edge. And I did it for two reasons. One, because when the paint's dripping upside down, yeah, I dripped past the top. And it did create a somewhat uneven surface. But I'm worried about the acrylic, like, if, because that's a high traffic area when you think about it. So I sealed it off with this um, polyurethane brush on varnish. Um, and it, it's by Delta Creative. And it was actually in the leather working section of Michael's, which is kind of weird. But I just did that mostly just to seal that top part in. And also this particular bowl. It did have some little chips. Small chips, but little chips. Um, you know, pretty good little people. It's three dollars. But anyways, I feel pretty confident with the enamel sealer and the polyurethane over the top. I'm I'm pretty confident that it would it is pretty solid and sealed in there. I'll let you know later on if I do end up having any issues with it. Um, but yeah, I really love it. I think it would be really um, an interesting piece on a table or um, coffee table. You know, somewhere just it's different. You know, um, and it's handmade. It's it's unique it's totally its own its own piece of art as always thank you guys so much for watching and like i said earlier let me know what you think of the audio the video the lighting all that good stuff because it's all pretty much new and i'm really really excited to be tweaking and dabbling and making it awesome so tell me what you think down below like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want to see more and of course ask questions below in the comment section or if you have things you want to see tried let me know Thanks for watching.